Hi, this is Mandy with Scott Leroy Marketing. Today, I'd like to show you how you can manage or edit your Zillow.com agent profile. I'll be showing you things like how to update your brokerage, maybe you've changed offices, as well as updating your current listings, past sales, your bio information, all the good things. So first, go ahead and go to Zillow.com, and over on the right-hand side, choose Sign In. If you do not have an existing agent profile just yet, you can always choose the sign up option right here. We'll go ahead and enter our email address and our password to log into our existing account and click continue. After you sign in, you should see an agent hub option in the top right hand corner. From here, we'll go to profile. This will show you specifically what you currently have on your profile, like a headshot. If you have any of your specialties listed, maybe how long you've been in business, your current listings, any past sales, any reviews, and also your service areas that you specialize in. So to get this information updated, you can come over here on the right-hand side and choose any of these items to click on and begin making changes. Now we've already added a photo. You can see it has the green check mark beside it, but if you ever want to change that, you can simply click on that hyperlink again and it will give you the option to swap out that headshot. For your about me, this is a great place to go in. I'm gonna click that and show you. This is a great place to go in and change maybe your professional title or your languages and even add your bio. Once it brings you to this page, you can click edit agent info, fill out these fields, and just click save when you're done. I do want to say at, at the about me section right here to add a bio, it will give you the option to insert a link. This would be a great time to go for your KW agent site and go to your about me tab and take that particular link and you can add it right here to your Zillow profile. Just click save when you're done. We're gonna click back over to our profile here and you can also choose to add service areas. Also to add your past sales and your current listings. To do that, we do recommend adding your MLS ID to your Zillow profile. That will sync your Zillow profile with your MLS and it will automatically update your current listings as well as your past sales. So you can go here and do it manually, like if I click add past sales, it will give me the option to add a sale manually here. But if we go back and come up to the top this time and choose edit, MLS agent ID, and choose that, this is where we can actually add our MLS ID to our Zillow profile, syncing that automatically, which is good leverage for you. It does all the legwork. You don't have to sit here and manually update all of your past sales or current listings. We'll come back. And again, on the right-hand side, you actually have the last little item here, get five or more past clients to review you. There's another way to get that done from right here on this same page, and it's up here in the top right. It's request a review. You can click that task button. You need to do this one of two ways. You can actually send an email from right here within your Zillow account. You would simply type the email, um, email addresses of the people you want to send this to right here. And so you can go ahead and enter those email addresses and below it, adjust the message that you would like sent out to them, indicate whether or not it is a past client, and then you can send the request from right here within Zillow. You can track those sent requests below, or if you would like to send the email actually directly from maybe your KW email, you can choose copy and paste direct link instead go ahead and choose to copy link and then take it over to your KW email account and send an email from there, pasting that link. This might also be a great link to share on your social profiles as well if you'd like to request Zillow reviews there. We can click back and go back to the profile here. And while we reviewed these items on the right-hand side, 
I do want to finish showing you this edit list right up here at the top. Just to show you, you do have some other items right here that you can update. Like your account settings will allow you to get in and change things like your password and the email address that's associated with your account. You can adjust those MLS agent IDs as well that we just covered. And again, this is just another place to update your listings and your past sales. From this list or either from over here on the right hand side, Several of these options will get you to the same place, but if you have changed brokerages and you need to update your office that you are, your profile is associated with, you can do that by getting back into any of the options like the About Me section or service areas. It will take you to the same place, so we'll just click About Me, and if you scroll up over here on the left-hand side, you will see the option for Brokerage Info. This is where you can come in and click Edit Brokerage Info, edit these fields, and click Save. That will update your brokerage of, that your Zillow profile reflects. And if you have any questions at all about everything that we've gone over here in this video, you can always reach out to us via email at support at scottleroymarketing.com, and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.